Good evening, uh, this is Chuck2, son of Chuck for the Sega Mega Drive, I'm Stu. As you know, this is a rather good game. Uh, you probably don't know that actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. I haven't planned this in the least. Uh, basically, as, as you can probably guess, it's a sequel to Chuck Rock, which itself is pretty fun. Uh, but, but the main difference is your character isn't quite so... Uh, limited really because the original the chuck rock had a belly bounce attack that was basically impossible to hit anything with without taking damage and that's why chuck rock is pretty poor good music though on the opening uh, this is a much better more well-rounded game i found it gets quite tough though um, which is a bit of an annoyance lots of little secrets and hidden shit which is always fun uh, as you can see you're playing as chuck jr little baby chuck rock trying to rescue his dad from a character who's so rather unfortunately named Gary Gritter. Uh, it's kind of a good thing that Chuck Jr. wasn't kidnapped, if you catch the paedophilia joke I'm making there. Yeah, it wasn't very funny. It was in poor taste. Uh, as you can see, Major Mechanic is knocking these uh, rocks around, hitting stuff with a club. It's, it's, it's fair, it's quite standard, but it's good. It's the good kind of standard, you know, it works. You knock the thing onto the spikes and you're alright. There's quite it's quite a linear game, there's not that much in the way of exploration. But it's 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 one of those it just doesn't really matter that much because it's just what there is is quite enjoyable. I like the graphics, I quite like the music. Although I've, mostly I've recently been playing the Mega C D version, uh, which has obviously a better soundtrack and I don't think much else in terms of being beneficial over the Mega Drive version, which is already pretty good looking. I mean, the backgrounds especially are quite pretty, and the sprites are nice and got lots of character. Uh, maybe I'll just do up to the first boss and then probably not kill him because it takes forever. Yeah, the bosses aren't a high point in this game. They're usually the same sort of... Oh, this is cool. Yep, come on. Yep, you can ride on them. It's awesome. It's the best feature ever. Find all this invisible stuff here, which I've now got all of. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't properly take damage while you're on this thing. But also I now can't get to one of the secrets, which is a bit of a bugger. Oh well. I'll get to another secret. Up here. Just an absolute ton of candies. And you avoid a fairly tricky bit as well, which is nice. But no, I'm slightly frustrated that I missed out on the secret there. I've got to get down now to progress. Because... Humorously, you can actually walk through those spikes as long as you don't jump on them, which is actually sensible. It actually makes a bit of sense, which is a bit weird, given that this is a Mega Drive platformer. There's a sort of sense of depth to the graphics, and I think the rain looks nice. Everything. I just think it's a lovely looking game, really. Now, if I recall correctly, you can... Uh, get a little, yep, yeah, invisible platform. The staple of good design. But, you know, I slide this game off a bit too much. I really like it. You, something I haven't showed yet is you can actually stand on the club to avoid stuff, but it's not. it doesn't really come in that useful apart from a few specific parts. Very sort of laboured, very obvious specific parts where like you're in a thin corridor and you can't jump over whatever. Almost at the boss now, I think. Again, this is... Uh, not quite sure what the point of that is. Guess so you can get invisible shit. That's cool. Uh, you may have noticed I'm not particularly taxed, but that's not because the game isn't hard, it's because I haven't played much else recently. I've played through the whole game for the first time in the last couple of days. In fact, I think I beat it yesterday. Here we go. Now, see, the boss is impressive looking, if you ask me. But to actually fight is quite dull, because all he does is this. He, yeah, he gets a mouthful of dirt. And you just got to keep hitting him. Anyway, I'm dead, so um, that's Chuck 2. Good night.